On this episode of Pimp My Bow, we'll be trying out all six arrow types on the new Torque 35 bow. Let's go test them out. Yeah, you heard that right. There are six different kinds of bolts you can have for this new bow. One just being the default bolt that we have on right here. And we've seen a few familiar ones like we've seen with the other crossbow. So we'll be getting the caustic bolt. We'll be getting the thermite bolt and the explosive bolt. But we also have two new ones with the ripper bolt and the snapshot bolt. And on top of us having a few new bolts, we have two different firing modes for this weapon. One where you can spam your shots and shoot as fast as you can, and it does get faster with pack-a-punch. And another one where you can pull your arrow all the way back and even aim in to shoot it. But you can probably be a little more accurate than I am. There we go. He actually blew up. What? He melted him. Does it always do that? Yeah. What? Okay, but anyways, I think we've seen enough of this against some tier one zombies. Let's go try it out against some tier two zombies. All right, we got an armored tier two zombie right here. Let's actually, uh, let's dial it back a little bit. Let's shoot him with the little quick firing arrows. And it's not doing a whole lot, but he does have armor on. I don't think arrows go through armor very well. And it looks like, hold on, maybe we take out one a little bit closer. Oh, it's actually a two shot. First shot takes out the helmet. Second shot takes out the rest of them. What if we pull it all the way back and let it fly? Okay, didn't really do a whole lot there, but it looks like we shattered a helmet. Or maybe it's just a two-shot regardless. We just got to make sure we're actually hitting him in the head. Uh-oh. I think I came to the wrong neighborhood. I'm so used to there not being a warlord right here, and I'm getting lit the hell up. I really don't need that heli here, actually. I'll just mind my business. I ain't see nothing. You leave me alone. All right, now let's see how this is doing against some tier three zombies without any upgrades at all. Can we get this fully armored zombie isolated? Let's try to light him up with this. Don't look like it's doing a whole lot. Let's throw another decoy before I get mauled to death. And let's try to hit him with the power arrow, our, our nice pullback here. He's looking like a porcupine, but you really wouldn't be able to tell if you looked at his health bar. It's not doing a whole lot. At least the hellhound's taking some damage. Oh, but let's go ahead and fix that. Let's get this uh, Pack-a-Punch 3 in Legendary. And let's see what, these, what this is made of against these zombies. Let's spam this. As you can see, it's definitely way faster after Pack-a-Punch. I think that's its ability here, which is very nice. This definitely shoots way faster than the normal crossbow. And it seems to be doing a bit more damage. Well, obviously way more damage, but at least some more damage than what a normal crossbow bolt would do without like blast caps. And what's a fully charged shot doing? Okay, breaking helmet and then killing. But you can see how fast it's shooting here. I want to see if it's even faster with speed cola. Let's go ahead and pop that. And how are we doing now? I actually can't tell if that's any faster. I don't know if it got any faster from when we just had it pack a punch. But you can see the reload thing pop up for like a split second, which is a little bit annoying. I don't think we really need to have a prompt show up for it to reload if it automatically reloads after we shoot every single arrow. I guess we'll deal with it. And just to see if it works, because I know it doesn't work with a normal crossbow, we're going to throw on a MAGA holding here. And it does look like all of our ammo gets compiled here. We actually have 115 bolts on us. That is not the max amount, but it does shoot extremely fast now. Okay. Wait, I want to see if I can click this as fast as possible. I'm going to try to click this as fast as my body can do it. Hold on. Let me try to get to a safe spot. Okay, I'm, I'm scrolling my wheel. Let's try again. We'll hit the Aether Shroud. And... Okay, wait. Okay, now I'm, I'm going too crazy. But that is a pretty fast fire rate. The crossbow got nothing on that. This actually has some crazy potential to have a really high damage per second, especially if we can find what one of these bolts is the best. So let's grab some dead shots so we can see its max damage potential. And let's go hunt down some bounties. Right after we see how much the max amount of ammo is. Oh, 121 bolts. That's not too bad. But I can see us running low on ammo very fast, especially with how fast this thing shoots. All right, first bounty of the day. What are we getting? Looks like a mimic. All right. All right. We actually have a decent horde of zombies chasing us. I want to see what happens if I shoot just a charged up arrow this way. Okay. Looks like it's still doing about the same damage as if I were to just like let it fly. Because it still just takes a shot to break the helmet and then one more to kill. And then we can also try this against a normal mimic real quick before we hit up our HVT. Nice charge shot right here. Nope. Hold on. Leave me alone. Stay back. Okay, that's some fat damage, I'm not going to lie. Let's try it again against one with full health. 
All right. Gonna get knocked over by some rude zombies. And let's run for our life and try it one more time. Wait, does the, do the mimics chase decoys now? Or are they just following the crowd? Mimics are sheep confirmed. Actually, you know what? Let's not question it. I need to take this mimic out before uh, we're bankrupt and have no self revives. Let's throw a decoy here. Does the HVT go for it? I don't think so. He's immediately trying to snipe us and he, he hit us. He's not trying to. He's actively doing it. We got to spam this. Disciples stay back. And let's light up the mimic. Yeah, so per arrow here with the hip fire shot or the speed shot doesn't do an insane amount of damage. It looks like if we pull back a bit, it does more. But maybe it just doesn't do a whole lot against armor even while doing a heavy shot. But it's still chunking the other mimic's health down. Yeah, that's right. You walk away. Actually, that's bad for us. He's healing. Stop. Get over here. Actually, I have no ammo. You know what? Yeah, time out. It's half time. All right, I'm fully loaded and ready to go, Mimic. Take two. Oh, you, you're fully loaded too, asshole. You're not supposed to heal all the way up. Let's start knocking you down. Look how many arrows are in him. And we can just run past him. Can we pick them back up? Or do, does he have to die for us to pick it up? He does, but he doesn't have that much health. He's already basically dead. So let's finish the job. There we go. Oh, and then we got them all back. Let's go. But no testing is complete until we can bring this up against a mega abomination. Let's see if we get one. Come on. Give me abomination. Disciple. All right. I guess I'll grab the rest of my perks. And actually, while right here, how's this doing against a big horde of zombies? Pretty decent. It, armor really does hold it back a bit. But once there's flesh involved, it starts knocking them out. Don't worry, disciple. I didn't forget about you. You can still get your annual ass kicking. Or I guess weekly? Bi-weekly? daily how often are we doing these don't matter because either way we already have his mask broken he's pretty close to half health uh no healing you know the rules you're not allowed to do that oh he's kind of eating these shots why don't you uh not do that oh that charge shot actually fucked him up pretty good eat him stop healing maybe it kind of pays to just be a little more patient with this hold on a quick aether shroud and stop moving so much you are the worst target to hit he's literally just going in circles like a model train bro think he's thomas but this ain't bad as long as he's not paying attention to me there we go keep it coming if i was accurate this weapon would be so much more deadly where's katniss when you need her there we go, finally. I'm still getting used to using this thing. All right, come on. This bounty's gotta be an abomination. Let's go. All right, buddy. We got a new toy to test against you. And it isn't one you'd find in a Twitter comment section. This shit hurts a little bit more, hopefully. Looks like we're actually still hitting crits on him without his mouth being open. I was seeing those yellow markers pop up. Does he really not like bows? This could be nice. We already had the mouth broken. Can we get another one? Oh, he's actually eating these arrows. He's got a whole mouthful. And there goes a second face. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot another one. We'll, we'll try out some charge shots on you. There we go. And speeding it up. Zombies, go to the fucking decoy, please. Leave me alone. And we got to take your buddy out. Oh, you're already gone. Sorry to say it, pal. But it looks like this thing fucks you up. Oh, wait. Please don't. Okay. All right, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I don't have any ammo. Is there any arrows around here? Uh, can I grab one out of your face, sir? All right, all right, all right, relax. Relax, buddy. We, I, I get it. You're big and scary. Um, thermite. Is that gonna kill you? Oh, it almost did. You got lucky. I found some arrows. Now it's time for you to go. Okay, he just had to flex on me a little bit. I was getting too cocky. He had to let me know what was up. Gotta keep that ego in check. But it didn't do all that bad against him. I'm gonna finish up this uh, weapon stash contract and then we'll hop in here with the next ammo type. All right, now we're on to the Ripper Bolt and it kind of looks like a form of birth control. I'm not gonna lie, but for the sake of time, we're not gonna go through and test this unpack a punch and unupgrade it all the way through every single tier. We're gonna see how this does unpack a punch first just against some tier one zombies. Then we're gonna fully pack a punch and upgrade it and bring it right into tier three so looks like it one shots i'm pretty sure our other one did as well but only one shot to the head body shots still do not kill and a fully charged shot to the body does that kill yeah looks like it so fully charged definitely does more damage and now let's go ahead and get this pack a punch three and legendary and let's do a quick triangle here in tier three while we lag our dick and balls off where am i okay cool sweet 
Uh, I'm glad the game's working amazingly. And on top of that, our triangles here in tier three have been nerfed for the second time. Before you could do this, you know, unlimited amount of times on each triangle and just rack up some legendary aether tools and some pack three crystals. But now I'm pretty sure you can still only do this one time and the rewards have been nerfed down to it being a random crystal in aether tool, which really sucks. But hopefully we can get a nice return on investment here on all these legendary aether tools in pack three crystals where we're going to be bringing into this but i don't understand why they they nerfed all these triangles because they added a few to tier two as well that give basically the same reward but they add like so many more elites like there's one over by the edge of tier three where you fight like 300 mimics for no reason and then another one's full of disciples and the other one's full of manglers they ended up not having anything to do with the new Dark Aether Rift. There might be some sort of Easter egg that we're not sure of yet, or we're just not aware of like what to do with it. But it just seems odd, like an odd choice to do. And so far, I don't know if I'm noticing a damage increase with this at all. We barely made it through that without going down, and we got a pack two crystal and a rare Aether tool. Lame. Well, let's go ahead and grab the rest of our perks. And with speed coal, it's a little bit faster. I don't have a million mags of holding to use, so I kind of wanted to save them for bolt types that I think might do a bit better. So it might hamper this one slightly, but so far it can still work in tier three, at least about as the same as just the normal bow and arrow can. All right, Abomination, you better be ready because this ain't the last time you're getting this today. How's this bolt doing against you? There you go. Thanks for shooting the laser. Looks like the hip fire isn't doing the greatest we did take out his face but barely we're getting hit hard there what about some fully cranked arrows not a whole lot better i guess he has lost like a quarter of his health or a third maybe now almost to a half and there's two faces gone okay that's doing a little bit of something a little something something now let's see if we can take out that final face you can get a fully a few fully charged ones get you low Oh, I don't think it really did a whole lot. This thing's going back and forth. At least I am going back and forth on it. And this should do it for him as long as we don't die. Oh, nope. He stopped shooting his laser. Yeah, let's not, let's not big dog him again. We learned our lesson last time. Let's just keep him at a distance. Keep lighting him up. Open up again for me. All right. Or don't. Whatever. Cool. It's your funeral. Just whenever you want to get to it. There you go. And I haven't been very impressed with this one. It kind of just seems like a uh, different version of just the default bolts. I don't see anything very uh, impressive with it. There's got to be a better bolt than this. And I tried to load in here with the snapshot bolts just to get them out of the way because I think they're probably going to be the least effective. And it didn't even look like it wanted to be effective at loading in on our bow because I don't see anything snapshot related here. It just looks like the same bow that we just used. Okay, well so much for that you know what that's fine i don't even want to test out the snapshot rounds anyways i'm sure they didn't do a whole lot so now let's go ahead and give the caustic rounds a try so let's see how they do just shooting against the wall okay i can definitely hear an effect but i didn't see an effect to go through the wall and can i repick the arrows up does not look like it okay what if i just shoot on the ground yeah i can definitely hear that something's happening i don't see it okay it looks like it only really truly goes off if we land the shot and it looks like it affects us. Does it affect us if we use PhD? Let's see. Look a little PhD. Here you go, zombie. It looks like it still does. Uh, not good. I also have a gas mask on, which I feel like it shouldn't affect me if I do. But, you know, who, who am I to say? Oh, and it looks like if it don't kill on the initial shot, at least the damage on it will. Like, we hit it with a leg shot there. And it took a few ticks to actually kill, but not bad so i'm thinking the initial damage on this is lowered but the tear gas should make up for it but well, let's go ahead and bring this bad boy into tier three with a little pack a punch and what is our max ammo count looking like okay so only 73 bolts on this compared to the other two that we tried that were at 121 bolts so i'm hoping since this has less ammo than the other two that we've tried that this should do more damage than those other two now where are all my tier three zombies at here's one with no armor uh does one bolt kill okay so it looks like maybe the initial burst does a good amount of damage but after that it, it slowly ticks down doesn't do that much 
So body shots aren't the best, it doesn't look like, but it does slow zombies down a lot. Maybe this could have a similar role to the storm ender, but actually be able to kill things in tier three. And here's a fully armored zombie. It looks like we can still just spam shots and take things out. It's definitely not doing as much, especially from a distance. What if we hold it down? Okay, that one shotted. Domers are still good, but if just the one bolt isn't doing it for you, spamming it should be just as fine. Oh, it looks like it's kind of messing up the zombies pathing sometimes too. You put that down and they kind of don't know where to go. This could be a great support weapon, actually. But are the triangles great? Nope. They still suck. And I just want to see what happens if we get a nice group of zombies. So let's get them all on this decoy. And I'm just going to shoot one. Just one fully charged one right here. It killed one. And then how's the gas doing against the rest of them? Not that great damage wise. We didn't kill any more of them, but it did slow them down quite a bit and add a little bit of chip damage. And then if we spam some at a group of them, if this zombie would get the hell out of my face, looks pretty good. Honestly, if it didn't have that slowdown effect on the zombies, this might be trash. Because whenever the zombies get up close on you like that, you are going to make yourself cough. So you won't be able to use your field upgrade or anything. At least I'm assuming you wouldn't be. And it can really put you at a disadvantage. But the tear gas effect ain't bad. And how are we doing against a tier 3 HVT? This one's a mimic and it does do the toxic damage. So that's good. It's kind of similar to having incendiary rounds and using it against a, a mangler or even an abomination. But it also does not give me eyes on the back of my head. So those zombies kind of mess me up a little bit. This would be absolutely busted if we could shoot it at the ground and the effects still go off. Because I could just shoot one behind me as I'm running from a bunch of hellhounds and really slow them down. But damage on this mimic isn't looking insane. Let's give him some fully charged shots to the mouth. It doesn't look like it slows down HVTs at all, but they don't really seem to be affected by a whole lot. But we do have a good amount of his health gone. We got him down to close to half. Let's Aether Shroud on him and try to light up as much as possible. There we go. Why don't you stay in that fog? That'll help me out a bit. Got him down to less than half now, but it don't really seem like a boss beater, even against this zombie that's supposed to be weaker to tear gas. It is doing a little bit more that we're holding down the shot, but I think we nailed it right off the bat. This does kind of scratch that itch of being more of a, a support weapon, if that's even how the, the phrasing goes. It's, it's been a long day. Figuring out how to get into that rift took the longest it's ever taken in this game, and we were streaming for a long time, so... I'm sorry if my brain's a little fried at the moment. But we have an abomination to find and their brain to fry. All right, let's see how this is doing against you, buddy. Oh, of course, turn away from me right away. But it does look like brain rot's also pretty good against abominations. And it's doing a decent amount of damage right off the bat. Actually, do we even have to hit him in the right crit point? for it to still do crit damage. Like if I were to shoot it in the middle of his mouth, but he had a different mouth open, would it still do that damage? Okay, all right, he's got me on the ropes here. Nice one, pal. Well played. Let's test that theory if we can. We'll shoot it in the right mouth. Ah, no, I don't think so. I'm talking out of my ass. Would be cool though. Uh-oh, and he's shooting another laser and I am not ready. We need to get to cover. Oh, fuck. I, do I have any more self revives? I do not. Okay. Getting big dogged again. I'll be back for you, pal. I need to go make a purchase. All right. I'm ready to fight you now. Come on back. That first round was a fluke. This one's for real. Unless you win. Then it's not. Oh, and he's already shooting another laser. Oh, he broke his face immediately. Probably uh, wore that one down a bit from the other lasers that he downed us with. That's fine. That's all right. Let's go up here. Get him to shoot another one. Let's spam this. And we break that face on the right. He is just clouded in that tear gas and just taking it like a champ. What a guy. He's got an iron chin and we are starting to get a little low on bolts here. Oh, we broke another face though. I'll take that. But I'll also take some ammo if you got somebody. Now, don't be shy. It's only fair if I can fight back. All right, let's try this again. It's definitely an issue with us running out of ammo and it not really doing that much damage to bosses so far. But it is kind of fun. You can just spray an abomination until it's in a giant cloud of shit. What other weapon can do that? And what other weapon can also have you run out of ammo extremely fast like this with no way to get it back? I'm Altov. Help me out here. 
I'm pretty sure they nerfed Molotovs. I don't know when it happened, but they do not kill zombies anymore. It might have been a way to nerf dead wire detonators so it doesn't completely obliterate zombies, but I think they kind of missed the mark. They don't do anything now. And we're down again with, I think, no self revive and no ammo. All right, I think we've seen just about enough of this caustic bolt against them. I gotta bring in the jug. Yeah, I can shoot you right back, buddy. Oh, there's the max ammo when I don't need it. Whatever, game. Did I didn't even get any of the ammo from it? Oh, what an ultimate troll job. Not the kind of job I want to be getting. And you know what? Maybe I'm just not giving this weapon the tools it needs to be great. So I went ahead and tried to go into the Dark Aether, but I am uh, currently stuck on a loading screen. So I think I might have just lost all my stuff. I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. I'd rather it just crash if it's going to do that. Did we lose our stuff from that? No, surprisingly. Wow. Good on you, Cod. All right, well, we'll have to revisit our plan of using some dead wire detonators, but let's go ahead and test out the blast cap bolts. Let's go ahead and give it a quick shot into the ground. Will this do self-explosive damage? Yup, there goes all my armor. And it does look like it'll still go off regardless if we land a hit or not. And it can still kill without blowing up, at least on a hellhound and on a zombie with a critical hit. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use PhD with this. Cause unlike with our caustic bolts, I'm pretty sure I won't take self-explosive damage now. Yep, so it looks like PHD is a must-have if you're using these blast cap bolts. So let's pack a punch it and head on into tier three. And what's our max ammo looking like with this? Ooh. Even worse than the caustic bolts, this one's only 49 bolts pack a punch. And with its bow counterpart in the crossbow, the explosive tips are kind of the meta build for it right now. So let's see if it can kind of do the same thing. It looks like a body shot doesn't kill with just the impact, but the explosive will take out a zombie. And we get a headshot here against an armored zombie. It breaks the armor and then kills. Okay. Not bad, and it does look like just the impact will stun the zombie or or make it flinch a little bit. So that'll hold it back if you don't got PhD. You can still use it a bit, but it looks like it's handling these tier 3 zombies pretty well as long as I'm uh, placing my shots as well as I think I am. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I just gotta not talk. This right here is much easier. Let's just start spamming it. That's probably what we should be doing with it. Maybe with some of the other bolts, you might want to slow down a bit with it. But with this, probably better to spam. And we got a tier one or a pack a punch one crystal. How the mighty have fallen. Oh, abomination. It's time for your ass beating. Oh, I didn't think it was going to do that great. Holy shit. You got to love it when, in the, when stuff lines up like that. Okay, we might need to find one that's not defective. That abomination clearly had problems. I guess fentanyl use. I'm caught up with them. Is this actually the best weapon ever? Ooh. But I guess while we're in the area, let's see if we can take out this infested stronghold with this. And it's not looking like it. Does it really take multiple shots to take out these cysts? Or do I need to do a fully charged shot at it? Let's see. I haven't shot these ones yet. Yeah. So it takes multiple shots to take out a cyst. That sucks. I mean, we're holding zombies back pretty well. At least for now. But that is really disappointing that I can't even one-shot assist. A one-shot an abomination. I can't get a, a Dark Aether pimple. That's uh, kind of lame. And it's not like there's anything good in here anyways. Lame-ass loot. Ooh, and what are you doing, you freaky little bitch? You back here air humping? Disciples of Gooner. Come on, abomination. I know you're not a one-pump chump. Let's actually duke this out. There you go. Laser right off the bat. That's what we like to see. Can we break a face just as fast? We did a lot of damage before we actually broke the face. That ain't bad. Now, let's go ahead and keep him shooting those lasers. Hopping up on here. And go for it, pal. Oh, he's a little confused. Maybe too many explosives kind of messed him up. You can really see, like, the, the bullet drop on this weapon. When you don't fully hold it down, the bullets drop pretty fast. And so will I if I don't find ammo. There we go. Yeah, keep shooting that laser, buddy. See how that works out for you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just stand right there and let me light you up. Works for me. As long as I can kill you before I run out of ammo. And it looks like the explosives are doing fire damage, which is weird. Does it always do that? Did it do that with the crossbow? Have I not paid attention to that? Oh well, either way, you're dead. Night, night. Thanks for playing, buddy. Uh, one last laser for the road. I appreciate it. See you later. Oh, 
down and drop me a legendary aether tool what a lad now this might be crazy this might be dumb but i'm gonna go ahead and try to go back to the same dark aether that we got frozen on because i just want some dead wire detonators i want to see how this would do with them please do not freeze oh no way we actually got a countdown this might actually work hell yeah all right let's try to fly through this oh i don't know if we're gonna make it we're literally at seven percent on the last stop we're giving it a real good try Oh, the max ammo. That could be insanely huge. Come on. 3%. 3%. We got to get this. We have to. I'll put my body on the line. Launch. Go. Please. Oh, it's at 0%. Did we make it though? Oh, no way. Damn. We gave it a good old try though. And we got Zerk on scale. I guess we got something out of it. There's literally 800 manglers here. What's a man to do? I see a mangler that has a nuke in him. Is he going to actually drop it? He will. Gimme. And we killed it. Holy shit. No way. No dead wire detonators though. Awesome. We got one more try at him. All we got to do is survive this nice little outlast. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get some dead wire detonators. I'm actually begging. Outlast, please give me what I'm looking for. And also, let me look at what my reward is. Gotta find the sweet spot, and there it is. Nope. Yes, mask. Awesome. We can actually get one more chance at dead wire detonators if we can take down this boss. So I'm gonna aether shroud immediately and hit him with a nuke. Let's light him up at least as much as we can, and he's immediately spawning in his goons. Fuck you. You don't gotta be doing all that. Why don't you and your goons go ahead and get out of here? I think he's gonna drop a nuke for me when he dies. Perfect. Now where's your bitch ass at? Where are you hiding? There you are. Okay, another nuke for you. And he did not seem to care. You don't even care about the thermite on him. Is this doing anything to you? Does this just suck? Is this bad against you? Why? That should mess you up. That's not fair. Okay, maybe that was a fluke. Let's hit another nuke. Bars. Holy shit. I'm good. Oh, wait. Never mind. We still got one more of these guys to take out. All right, we got it. Come on. Maybe it's the Aether Shroud that's messing it up. Nope, I don't think I can do any damage to him. Why are you invincible? Stopped him from healing, but are we really not doing enough damage to break his mask? Is he just explosive proof? All right, I'm gonna give you one more chance to surrender. There, is, the, is that even you? Or are you, is this just a normal disciple? Nope, that's him. I have a thermite to the mouth. And we're not doing shit. Okay, I'm leaving. Well, that was a good try. See you later, dickhead. And we're on to our last bolt type with the blaze cap bolts. These ones are the thermite tips. And does it do the thermite thing when we shoot at the wall? Looks like it. And do zombies enjoy it? This one certainly does. Actually, that's a little concerning how it didn't kill right away. Maybe they're trying to avoid a crossbow thermite tip situation where that was literally the best weapon in the game until they nerfed it into the ground. But it didn't kill with a body shot. Does it still kill with a headshot? Let's get this guy here. Nope, completely missed. There we go. Okay, so it does kill with a headshot. Nice. Off to tier three. And how's it doing against some tier three zombies now that we're fully packed? Oh, uh, it's taking them. It's taking care of them. It's taking care of business. I do need to grab PHE to make sure that we don't do self damage with these thermites, but I don't think we should. And when we spam them, it gets kind of dangerous when we don't got PHD, I think. But let's just uh, spam them from a safe distance. All right, let's pick up PHD and let's go ahead and test our theory. Do we do self damage now? No, that's actually huge. So now we can spam this to our heart's content and not care about it. All right, Abomination, you got another drill by now. How are these doing against you? Let's get uh, some back shots on them. Where are you shooting that laser at? All the way across the map? I'm right here, buddy. How are these doing against your laser? Oh, it looks like it's stacking pretty good damage wise. You can get quite a few on there. Are these even going to break his face or are we just doing damage? It's got to be one of those times where his face just will not break, but he'll still take like massive damage somehow. Come on, try another laser or something. I want to see if we can get that face of yours broken. There you go. Oh yeah, we can break the face, but we did an insane amount of damage before we broke it. So it's got to be like the actual bolt impact damage that does damage to his mouth. And it's the thermite damage that's doing it to just his health bar. And we got him less than half right now. And I am almost out of ammo again. These things seem to run out of ammo a lot. 
We're gonna have to make a run to go get some more. Please do not down me on my way over there. We're lighting this guy up like a Christmas tree. And you should be dead. I think this is it for you, buddy. Oh, there goes another face. We can just keep hitting them. And we're out of ammo, but will he still die from the thermite effects? No. All right, you know what? Melee time. We'll take you out like this. Come on. I know you want to go. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. Is there a drop of ammo anywhere here? All right, come on, zombies. Help me out. Thank you. And time for you to go. I think I just needed one more. And maybe one more to chase that one down. Perfect. Damn. These things can do some some work. They can knock some things around, but they can also run out of ammo insanely quick. It's ridiculous. Oh, and we got one trick on this. That's how long we've been using it for. These different bolt types are pretty good, but they're definitely missing something, and that is the dead wire detonators. I'm gonna go do a few dark aether runs and see if we can get our hands on some. So after a few hours, I was finally able to get my hands on some dead wire detonators. Thanks to the boy Golden in the Discord appreciate you. And I think the best possible combination with this bow and dead wire detonators is going to be our thermite tip bolts. So let's go ahead and activate them with maggle holding, get it all the way up to pack a punch and let's go wreak some havoc. And hopefully we can find a sigil. That way we can go into the new dark aether and see if we can come away with anything. All right, well, moment of truth. Let's see if these work with the thermite tips. Are we getting any dead wire detonators going off? I'm not seeing it. Dang, thermites don't count as explosives? That's kind of lame. Okay, so I might have been a little bit wrong about the thermite tips working with dead wire detonators, but I'm still going to go into the new dark aether. We'll see if we can get anything done in there. And I think I can say in this dark aether, without a doubt, this would be the most difficult elder sigil to solo ever. Now, this is just a normal sigil, so I think we should be all right emphasis on should but it literally took the zombies community myself included 10 hours to figure out how to get into this elder sigil or just this dark aether in general outside of the story mission and after we got it unlocked i did two elder runs and i came away with exactly zero schematics the only thing i got out of this was two little bottles that I could spawn in the friendly disciple with. And in that time, I went and I depleted my very full stash. So I was struggling just to get some dead wire detonators just to try out with these bows. And, uh, looks like it's going to waste a little bit. But this Dark Aether, compared to any of the other ones, they up difficulty like crazy. Every single one of these contracts is insane. And I am not doing well on it. We have this Outlast contract, which is kind of mixed with a bounty. It's almost like a bounty is mixed in with each contract. Because in the middle of this, we're about to get an EMP'd Mangler. Unless that's only the Elder Sigil that gets it. I haven't done a normal Sigil of this. Oh, nope. Not an EMP'd Mangler. That is definitely a Mimic. They switched it up on me. And they're also not giving me any ammo at all. Ooh, but we got a nuke and two percent left please don't kill me please don't knock me again please god damn it how have we already gone through three self revives in this are we gonna get another one from here we are and a flawless crystal that's fine buy one get one or lose two self revives three self revives get one back and maybe we don't get one back because i'm lost I went the wrong way in this building. Oh, here's the exit. Thank God. I would really not recommend coming in here if you're going to do an elder or maybe even just a normal sigil without a scorcher. It is very difficult to traverse this whole place. But we're still going to try. I want to get out of here with something I can hang my hat on. Our next contract is right here. Ooh, grabbed it in the air. And this poor control contract's crazy. I have no idea how you're supposed to get this done fast without a scorcher. These are spread so insanely far out, it's not even funny. But this is probably the only other contract we might have a chance at getting done. If we can stay alive. Oh, my Lanta. How many self revives are we at? One. If we lose this, we might have to just completely dip out. Oh, a key? Post office warehouse key? Some DMZ shit. Where the fuck is the post office even at? If I see it, you best believe I'm opening it. Actually, you know what? Side mission. Screw the spores. I'm going to see where this post office is at. This map is huge. There's got to be stuff on here that we haven't even scratched the surface of finding. I think this might be it right here. Hold on, cashmere. Please save me. Throw that down. Let's grab more cashmere. Can I open it? Oh, let's go. Let's not go, actually. There's a lot of fucking zombies in here. I'm gonna die. 
Aether Shroud. Um, let's throw down this jug. And let's see if we can fight our way through this. Let's grab that. All right. And try to fight our way through. I want to see what's in this building now. It better be something decent. Oh, there's a portal in here. I self-revive. So there's an exit. It did use my key, so I did have to use it to get in here. So that's good. Possible strategy for when we come back in here for the elder. Is that it though? Just a portal? Or does that lead me to somewhere different? I think that's it. Wow, that's underwhelming. We know that's there. Actually, you know what? I'm getting the hell out of here. Bye-bye. Okay, if the thermite tips don't work, then the explosive tips have to work with dead wire detonators. Please tell me I'm not wrong. Oh, thank God. All right, this has got to be the combo. All right, let's give this Dark Aether another try with a bit of a better bow. And we'll actually try to do all the contracts this time around. Wait, there's a Mr. Peaks right here. And there's also a Spore. I wonder if we can break that with PHD. There's way too many zombies around to try. But I don't think the normal inhibitors would do anything to that. Because that's not part of the Spore mission. We don't even have that activated. No way I got sniped. All right, let's not uh, go down as many times as we did last time. We don't need that. I don't even know if this boss right here is possible to kill. I think you just have to try to outlast him. Oh, wait. He is possible to kill. Come on. Can you get him? Let's see. Oh, he's half health. But the contract's already over. You got to get something crazy for killing him. Did we get anything decent out of this? Please? Please, can I open it? Oh, we got the bandolier. And I've been dying to see if the bandolier actually lets me refresh my cashmeres. And it looks like it refreshes my monkey bombs. So it's got to refresh the cashmeres. That's sick. Let's try this. Can I pop onto this? Did it do anything? I don't think so. All right, whatever. On to the next. And let's try to actually knock this contract out. I decided I'm giving up on the spore control contract again. I'm going on another side quest. I want to see what's all the way up there now. Can we even get all the way up there without Dr. Jensen? I don't think so. Oh, and this is locked? Are you kidding me? Or actually, there's some open windows on this building. Maybe I can just hop right into there. There's got to be a way all the way up from the inside. Or at least something going on inside. I want to get into there. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh nothing just a uh, office cool all right i guess i'll go back to doing the actual contract now enough dicking around holy shit spawning more zombies why don't you that's insane it went from nothing to everything okay i think that might have been my last self revive i don't know if i want to risk this anymore we just need to cut our losses and get out of here there will be a day where i figure out how to do this dark aether solo but i don't know if it'll be with just this weapon so overall review of the bow i like it a lot and i think it's really good and it might be as good if not better than the crossbow just because you can fire it so much faster it's got a ton of different bolt types that you can use and i feel like i'm just scratching the surface on what kind of combinations that you can use with like maggle holding in dead wire detonators with it to make it actually a very viable build like i feel like there's got to be a strat out there that i'm missing because we're just covering so many at once but i'm gonna go ahead and end it there thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later